Hey everybody, just wanted to come on here and show you. Um, we went ahead and we sanded the finish off of the top of this dresser and I'm just um, staining it. So I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of the process. I'm using Minwax, um, the color is Jacobian or Jacobine, I'm not exactly sure how you say it, I never know what to call it, but it's a really pretty, um, I really like it with just one coat. I feel like it's the perfect, uh, it's not too dark, but you can still see like a lot of the wood grain. Um, I'm using a, a t-shirt, like a cut-up t-shirt, because they're lint-free, so they're really great for um, wiping back stain, and a chip brush. So I just take my chip brush, and I wipe on my stain, and it's going to be a little bit scary looking at first, because it's going to look really, really dark. Um, but then I just take my t-shirt, and you can see I've already been doing a lot of this dresser, so my t-shirt's covered with stain, but you just wipe it back and then you'll be able to see a lot of the wood grain. Um, and my, my t-shirt's pretty soaked with um, stains. You can even kind of like go around your edges and you wanna make sure that if you have any like um, creases or any kind of edges that you use your t-shirt and really get in all those little nooks and crannies and even like underneath the lip here, you can kind of use your t-shirt and kind of wipe around the edges just so you don't miss any pieces. Um, and then everything that you've already done, you can kind of use your your t-shirt rag and just kind of wipe it in. If you have any like streaks, you can wipe it all back. So I know some people are sometimes a little bit confused by stain on like how to apply it. Um, I do have a, um, a course on how to um, sand and stain um, a piece of furniture from like the beginning to the end. I kind of go through all the steps. Um, but I just kind of wanted to pop on here and show you what I was up to with this dresser because um, this one will be for sale, and sometimes it's nice for you guys just to get a little sneak peek of what it kind of looks like behind the scenes, so you can see how dark it is, and sometimes that just makes people a little nervous, but as you can see, it just wipes back, and then you can see all the, the wood grain on it really nice. So um, once I get this whole top stained, um, I'll wait 24 hours, and then I'll put... Um, I'll put my top coat on it and I usually use like a polyurethane top coat and I do a couple um, coats of that on the top. So um, anyways, that's all I just wanted to pop on here and show you what I was up to with this staining. So thanks for watching.